guys it's olivia and welcome back to my channel so for today's video i will be giving you guys some netflix recommendations this is a part two i've already done this video once on my channel and it did really well so i'm going to give it to you guys again and this will be a mix of shows that i've watched slash movies that i've watched as well as some shows that are on my watch list and these are not all the shows that are on my watch list just a few of them i think there's 11 different shows slash movies for you guys and yeah if you guys like this video then i will definitely do a part three in the future yeah without further ado let's get started so basically i'm going to put up the picture and the summary right on the screen for you guys so that you can read it also i'll, I'll be like reading it and telling you guys what the show slash movie is about and we can just get started so the first show that i have to show you guys is called Ginny and Georgia. This is an amazing show. I really enjoyed watching it. I think there's 10 episodes in this season. And now I'll read the summary. All of these summaries I got from Google, just so you guys know. So it says, teenage Ginny and her family yearn to put down roots in a picturesque New England town after years on the run. Super good show. It's like mystery slash romance type thing. It, But it's like super interesting. And yeah, it's like kind of, it's the kind of show that you can binge. So go check that out. It is amazing. Just so you know, all of these shows, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, all of these shows are TV 14 or PG 13. Um, so if you're younger than that, make sure to ask your parents before watching this. Yeah. And also I'm 14. Yeah, just keep that in mind. Janine and Georgia is an amazing show. I really enjoyed watching it. And then the next show that I have to show you guys is Jane the Virgin. I finished this show just yesterday. Oh my gosh. It is like top tier. It is like the best show. It's my favorite show right now. It is so good. So there are five seasons, 100 episodes in total. Overall, it's just like amazing. It is like absolutely amazing. I love like the way that it completely ended. It's kind of like a telenovela. So yeah, I'll read the summary for you guys. The daughter of a teen mother, Jane Villanueva grew up determined not to repeat her mom's mistakes. At 23, her life is on track. Jane is studying to become a teacher and engaged to a handsome detective who supports her decision to remain a virgin until marriage. And then basically she is kind of in the middle of a mix up between two people and she accidentally got artificially inseminated. And then she was like, wait, what? And so her whole life turned upside down. It's kind of like mystery. There's a lot of like stuff. It's like murder mystery um, slash romance. There's a lot of romance. And it's just like amazing. And there are just like so many like love triangles and all that stuff. It is like absolutely amazing. Please go check that show out. Um, it's definitely 10 out of 10. Highly recommend. Like, I can't even describe how amazing that show is, so, yeah, I really enjoyed it. It's very, it's very bingeable, so, yeah. Um, so the next thing I'm going to show you guys is some movies, and the first movie that I have is The Kissing Booth. This has a part one and two, and part three is coming out in August, so if you've already watched it, then there you go, there's the tea. And if you haven't, go watch the two movies so that you can be right there for the third. So basically what it's about is a high school student finds herself face to face with her long-term crush when she signs up to run a kissing booth at the spring carnival. And it's very drama filled and yeah, it's like crazy because her crush is her best friend's brother. So it's like really intense and crazy. So yeah, I really, um enjoyed that movie and then there's also a part two to that and the summary for part two is after a romantic summer together noah is off to harvard and Elle heads back to high school for her senior year the summary doesn't really make sense because it uses the names of the characters and basically Elle is like the main character and then noah is her love interest so yeah just to clarify for you guys again that's a really amazing movie i think i prefer the first one though comment down below which one you guys like better and i'm so excited for the third one i can't wait to see what it's about okay also i am like 
if you couldn't tell already, I am hugely into romance movies, romance novels, like romance shows, all that stuff. Like I'm like a sucker for that. So um, yeah, just keep that in mind. If these don't really appeal to you and you're not interested in them, it's just because these are according to my taste. So yeah. The next movie is called The Perfect Date. And I decided to check it out because like the cover has Noah Centinea on it. So I was just like, this has to be good. So the summary for this movie is a high school student creates an app to offer his serv services as a fake date to make money for college. When he develops feelings for someone, his plan gets complicated. As you can see, it's very intriguing. Um, it's a really good movie. Go check it out. I highly recommend it. I really enjoyed watching it. And the um, last movie that I have to show you guys, and I've watched this, it is called Sierra Burgess is a Loser. Yeah, I've never watched anything like it before, so it was really good to watch. I enjoyed it. And the summary for this is a case of mistaken identity leads to an un unexpected romance when a teen joins forces with a popular student to win the heart of her high school crush. So yeah, that's the summary. Everything that you just watched, those are all of the shows and movies that I've watched before. And now we're going to get into the stuff that's on my watch list that I've never watched before. So the first show is called Get Even. So the summary for this show is in an elite Bannerman independent school, four teenage girls join together to expose and fight injustice. They don't get mad, they get even. And this was kind of intriguing to me. So I'm like, I'm gonna watch that show. So yeah, I'm really excited to watch it. I don't know when I'll get to it because I have a lot of shows on my watch list and obviously it takes a while to watch a show. So yeah, I'm excited to watch it. It seems really good and intriguing. So yeah, maybe we can like watch it together and then I'll like tell you guys what I thought of it. So yeah, that's the first show that's on my watch list. And the next show is called On My Block. Basically this show um, follows a quartet of bright street savvy friends who are navigating their way through high school, including all the triumph, pain, and newness they experience along the way. Lifelong friendships are tested as Mons, Ruby, Jamal, and Caesar confront the challenges of adolescence and life in their Hispanic and black neighborhood in South Central Los Angeles in the coming this coming of age comedy series. I think that sounds really good because you know show about friendship. Yeah, I like shows about friendship. I think they're really nice. I thought that I might give this show a try. I don't really know what to expect from a lot of these shows. So the next one, this is one that my friends actually um, recommended to me. I'm pretty sure that they read the book of this and then they uh, found out that the show was coming and they were just like, I'm gonna watch this. You need to watch it too. Please watch it. So it's on my watch list. It is called Shadow and Bone. Sorry guys, my sister's having friends over and they're being really loud, so yeah, and now I'm tired. So we're gonna keep going. Okay, so now I'm gonna read the summary for Shadow and Bone. I also don't know what to expect with this show because it's not like anything that I've ever watched before. Okay, so the summary for this is super quick and short. It says sinister forces plot against a young soldier after she reveals a magical power that may unite her world. And I don't really know what to like interpret from this. So I'm excited to watch it and see what it's all about. If you guys have watched it, um, comment down below. Um, let me know what you think of it. Don't give any spoilers. Like all these shows that I've never watched, please don't give any spoilers because yeah, I wanna watch it for myself. I have two shows left. Um, we'll do The Good Place next. Basically, I'm, this is like a super long summary. I'm not gonna read all of it. I'm probably gonna just like piece together stuff. So when Eleanor Shellstrop finds herself in the afterlife, she's both relieved and surprised that she's made it to The Good Place, but it doesn't take long for her to realize that she's there by mistake. And she kind of hides in plain sight from The Good Place's architect, Michael, and his all-knowing assistant, Janet. Yeah, and she's determined to shatter her old way of life in hopes of discovering a new one in the afterlife. And 
yeah again it's very intriguing i've said that a lot in this video but yeah it sounds intriguing it sounds really good and i don't know i'm excited to watch it see what i get from it the last show that i have for you guys is one that i actually started today because i needed to start a new show and this is called never have i ever the summary for this show is after a traumatic year a first generation indian american teenager wants to improve her status at school but friends family and feelings don't make it easy on her and i've already watched two or three episodes of this but so far it's really good and intriguing and i want to watch more so i think that's a good sign yeah those are all the shows that i have to show you guys, I hope that you um, enjoyed this video. I hope that it gave you some ideas of what to watch on Netflix if you're looking for that. Also, we are like, we are so freaking close to 300 subscribers. So I would really appreciate it if you subscribed so that you can see more videos from me and also so that we can hit 300 subscribers. That would be amazing. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video, which will premiere on Monday. I'm sorry.